did you purchase on this trip that's coming in today? Uh, just uh, clothes. Clothes? Mm -hmm. What's the value of your clothes? Maybe around thousand dollars. One thousand dollars? Do you have any gold with you today? Gold is mine. I didn't buy anything. What kind of gifts did you get? No gifts. You didn't get any gifts. All right. Please put your luggage up on the belt. Do you have any food, alcohol, tobacco of any kind? No. Open that up for me. What is that exactly? Sound of desserts. Break one open for me, please. Not you can steal that up. Wow. I thought you didn't buy jewelry. That, that is my mom's gift. I didn't ask you if it was a gift. I asked you if you bought any jewelry. Oh, I mean, that is, I didn't buy with my money. I specifically asked her if she bought any gold or received any gold on the trip. She declared that she had not. They gave it to me. I didn't buy it. Even if you get gold as a gift, it's still a new item coming into the U.S. and it's dutiable. You have the receipt. It's in your possession. The receipts were for three days ago, so I know it's brand new. So right now it's her gold. Where are the receipts for this? Those are long back. When? It's a three years back. When was the last time you wore this? I wore it in India. Yeah, where? For a wedding. Show me a picture from the wedding. There is a picture in my ceremony I wore. Okay. When you bought that necklace in India last time, did you pay duty when you came into the U.S.? I think so. Pay tax on it? I don't remember. You don't husband. remember or no? I don't remember. You'd remember if you paid tax, I think. Did you declare it? No. Let's match these up. So we have a necklace, earrings. Where is the receipt for this one right here? Oh, these are old ones. Why are they in a new box? I put it there for the safety. Why don't you put it in the other box? That is full, right? Well, there's only one in there, there's two in there. A traveler returning from India keeps skirting the truth about her gold. Why didn't you tell me you had jewelry? I don't understand. I mean, why you know, I'm gonna open your bags. My mom gave it to me, so. The receipt actually has your credit card information. She said, I'm gonna go weigh this, okay? Uh, she doesn't have receipts for all of these items, but she has receipts for most of them. So when that happens, whatever doesn't have a receipt, I weigh it. So you declared a thousand and no jewelry. I mean, I bought a close thousand dollars. I spent so my money. So you still a thousand dollars in clothes and forty-nine hundred seventy-seven dollars in jewelry. I mean, that is all my old jewelry, right? These are the new receipts from no, the jewelry. That... That's bought on the 12th. I just okay. converted it. It's a 4,000? There you go. Indian rupee, right? Okay, okay. That's where you were. Okay. And it's pretty clear. I'm going to go talk to a supervisor. Clear $1,000 in clothing. No gold. One of them $4,900 in gold. And she admitted last year of bringing a necklace in and never paid duty on it either. Charge him? Or you want me to seize it? How much color are we talking about in pieces? Five pieces. Five pieces. All right. Since we've never stopped you before, today we're removing your exemption and just charging you duty. Okay. It's a luxury. If you fail to properly declare the merchandise, the exemption is removed from you. If you do this again, we're seizing your gold. All of it. Got it? Yeah. This is your one and only warning. You're going to pay duty today. How much? It'll be 353 US. Really? 353 for gifts? Well, that's because you didn't declare it. She did misrepresent herself. She would have paid far less today if she would have honestly declared what she had. Please exit over there by the cashier cage. Huh.